What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Spencer. And taking a look at the new... Ah, oh, I can never know how to say this. Kush, Kusha tree. I feel like I've heard other people say it, and I don't remember what it is. Um, I, I think the first name was Kisha Tori. I don't know. <laughs> but it got new support, okay? It's the rank 7 that has, you know, a bunch of banishing. The idea is that you're banishing your opponent's cards. Uh, and if you, like, the main deck monsters, if you're activating monster effects, your opponent's losing advantage, okay? Which is pretty wild. So you can, someone, one of them looks at your opponent's uh, extra deck. One of them banishes, like, one of the top three cards of your, of your opponent's deck. Some of them do a lot more than that. So they got a new wave of support. Uh, and we'll take a look and see if it's good. Like, spoiler, it's insane. Like, Konami has decided, for whatever reason, that this deck is going to be meta. Like, when they want to make insane support, they obviously can just do that at any time. And they've decided to do it here, which is, I guess, pretty cool. Um, so this is Kusha... I don't know. Jeez. I wish I... Uh, this is Rise Heart. <laughs> okay. If you control a Kishitari La... <laughs> Kishitari La monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except XYZ, which is fine. The deck never went into anything but XYZs. You're working with rank 7s. During the main phase, if this card is normal or special summon, you can banish a Kishratalala card from your deck, except a copy of itself. Banish the top three cards of your opponent's deck face down. And if you do, this card's level becomes 7. So this is great for a myriad of reasons. It doesn't have to banish a monster, but it can. The continuous spell lets you monster reborn every single time once per turn, which is nuts, from either the graveyard or the banished pile. So basically, it's, just, it's a searcher, in a sense. Uh, and I think there's a field spell that searches monsters. So, like, basically, this is, like, an extremely consistent deck now. Like, more consistent than anything I can think of off the top of my head. Other than, like, Sky Striker or something, you know what I mean? Like, this card's going to help you search a bunch of things. The field spell, there's one that's special from the deck now. Like, if you let your opponent get the first few effects off, like, you're so done for. Uh, so this card obviously is like great. It's a free extender. It becomes a level seven, which helps you go into your rank sevens, which are all very good. This is tier laments. Okay, look, that's crazy that there's a tier lament Kishratala card. This is a level seven water psychic. Wow, a water psychic level seven monster. Okay, during either main phase, you can special this card from your hand, and if you do, banish a Kishratala or a tier laments card from your hand or graveyard so if you use the trap i guess i, I have to look at it because I, I just played against it tonight so i kind of want to even just look now wow there's there's a lot of support for this this one says if it's banished you can target okay so what is the normal effect if a fyz is on the field each player must banish monsters they control face down so they only control one monster so yeah, like I think the idea is like if you do use that card, right, and then you can use the banish effect, uh, which definitely would be do pretty okay. But otherwise, you can just normal like regularly banish one of your monsters, and the continuous trap can grab it anyways. It, it's it ends up just being a free special summon, right? It's a free four, a free seven, excuse me. So if this card is normal or special summon, you can send the top three cards of either deck to the graveyard. I mean, I honestly think that if you were to play this deck with, um. Oh, I guess that would be tough, right? I was going to say the new Mr. Rune cards. Although, I don't know if that's what they're actually called. I just think that was the original name. Uh, I'm actually, like, very sure they're called something different. But I can't remember off the top of my head. But, like, your, the ability to mill your opponent's deck out seems, like, very easy if you were to find a way. Like, maybe you wouldn't use all of the support, right? Because, well, maybe you don't even just go into the extra deck. I don't know, right? Because the Mr. Rune quick play spells help you go into the extra deck with their fusion so like maybe you don't use this card i don't know i don't even know what you do with the fusion monsters necessarily but i do know that if you get the ball rolling you can do some insane things uh okay so that obviously this is good okay so if it, again it's a free special summon you get to banish a card which gives you advantage and you get to like start milling cards and the, the reason it's like good to mill cards again is because the continuous spell monster reborn so if you just get more in the graveyard you have more options I don't know if regular tier laments would do this. I know that the tier lament traps have effects on banishment, but that seems pretty niche, <coughs> niche and situational in a sense. Okay, this is <laughs> Scareclaw has an, a monster in this archetype now. 
So obviously there's some sort of lore <laughs> related to all these cards. I don't know if it's related to Fallen of Albaz. Everything seems to be, but maybe for now it's not, but I don't know. I like this card because um, it reminds me of old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their backgrounds used to be plain, and some people like really don't like that, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, I do. For some reason, I do. I almost wish, honestly wish it was just black. That'd be kind of neat. But in any case, during the other player's main phase, you can special this card from your hand. If you do, banish a Kishwala Tatala card from your hand or graveyard. So all of these just freely special some of themselves. So they didn't have extenders before, and now the entire deck is extenders. Uh, this card can attack while in face-up defense position, in true Scareclaw fashion. And if it does, apply defense for its damage calculation. Okay, if your Kishwala Talala or Scareclaw monster battles, negate the opponent's monster effect until the end of the turn. All right, well, this is probably the first kind of stinker, which I think will be A-OK. -okay. Maybe this is insane, I'm not sure. I mean, it is a free seven, but I feel like all the other ones are just significantly better. And they're gaining your opponent's monster effects. Well, I turn the end of the next turn. So I guess you can crash and negate. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. This is this and really, like, this card is, like, what pretty much makes this meta now. Um, so once per turn, if Kishra Tavala Shangri-La has activated its effect this turn, you can XYZ summon this card by using one monster you control's material. So this is basically like Colossus for XYZs. Uh, this is the XYZ version of it, right? All you have to do is activate that a certain monster. Now in Thunder Dragons, it's like more general. You have to activate a Thunder monster, but it's so easy to trigger. And with all these extenders coming out, like the ones up top are extenders, and also there's, there's these ones that are special summon from the deck. You're gonna be able to bring this out turn one, probably off of one card. But yes, any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Like, brain exploded. You know what I mean? Like, that's just so insane. Uh, once per chain, if a card is banished, you can attach one of those banished cards with its material. Okay, so you just get free materials. Once per turn, quick effect. <laughs> of course, it's a quick effect. You can attach three materials from this card, then target one card on the field, banish it. So anytime your opponent does anything, as soon as they do anything and their card gets banished, you get to attach it, and now you have a quick effect. <laughs> like on top of it being a macro cosmos, it's also a quick effect target and a card and banish it face down. So like I I almost like imagine that this card is going to try to be splashed somewhere. I don't even know that's possible, but clearly within like the context of this, like this is just so crazy. You don't even have to use multiple materials if you don't want to. Oh, I guess you wouldn't, because it requires three level sevens. So you kind of have to wait uh, maybe an extra bit of time, but I think there's a way, and we're about to, I think I'm about to read it, where there's a way to attach cards to this anyways. Like, like everything so far has been, like, good as an extender, uh, but this just takes it to a whole other level. Like, the payoff now for the deck is just, like, it's a complete different context. This is Kishrila Tadala. Papias. Normal spell. Target one Kishla <laughs> monster you control. Special summon another one from your deck with a different attribute and defense position. Also for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon from the extra deck except XYZ, which is fine. Really, I think this could be splashed on just about anything now. Right? Because I all the main deck monsters special summon themselves. So we'll, we'll, I don't know what else you would do, but clearly just being like being able to special summon from the deck insane because the ones that you bring out from the deck if your opponent plays it hurts them it also they all have like all have search effects if this card is banished you can target one of your cards from the archetype except a copy of itself add it to your hand meaning that this like this card just becomes much better right you can banish a card so this card's giving you a special summon from the deck <laughs> and you can use each of them <laughs> like why <laughs> There's so many archetypes where I wish Konami would just like make support half as good as this. Because like you get to special summon this from your hand, so you get to use this. You special summon from the deck, and then you banish it, and you get more advantage. Pretty good. This is Parisos's The Sixth Destroyed World. Okay, when this card resolves, you can add a archetype monster from your deck to your hand. Monsters your opponent controls. Oh, monsters you control gain 100 attack for each attribute on the field. I say this is more important, right? 
you just get to search a monster. Um, but if a Shangri-La you control is activated its effect, you can target a card on the field, destroy it. No, oh, it's kind of like the Tier Laments one, right? So you get to add, and it also destroys during your opponent's turn. Because it's going to trigger during your opponent's turn. Pretty good. Okay, this is the archetype's overlap. Quick, play, quick effects. Quick play spell. <laughs> Jeez. Target one monster on the field. Banish one monster with 1,500 attack and to 2,100 from your hand or graveyard or either side of the field. And if you do, the target gains 1,500 attack. Target one monster in the field. Banish a monster with 1,500 and 21 from your hand, graveyard, or either side of the field. So I guess in the mirror match, this card would be pretty insane. And if you do, it gains 1,500. If this card is banished while you control an archetype monster, you can target an effect monster your opponent controls, and they get its effects until the end of this turn. I don't know. I mean, that just seems pretty underwhelming. I th is Do one of them let you banish from the deck, though? I don't remember. So, I mean, that like that part of it could be good if you're able to just, like, quick effect banish from your deck. But otherwise, I don't know. This could be probably a one or something. Okay, this is Big Bang. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so this is... So the scare claw archetype connects to this one, which also connects to something else, the frost stuff. But so let's see what this does. You can only use each of this effect once per turn. If an archetype XYZ is on the field, each player must banish monsters they control so that they only control one monster. Okay, I mean that's that's good because you're able to build your advantage way faster than your opponent, way faster. So that's like pretty good. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, if your opponent starts building a board and you and you bust this out and your opponent just starts banishing stuff face down, it's like evenly matched during your opponent's turn. I mean, it literally is with monsters. Uh, if this card is banished, you can target one archetype XYZ you control, add one of your archetype monsters that is attached to it to your hand, then you can special summon that added monster. Oh, Lord. So you get to use this card, which is good. And then you can banish it to summon one of your monsters, like the new extenders. And then you get to add a card back to your hand and immediately special summon it, which gives you advantage because normally they search or if during your opponent's turn, this is happening. Like it's just, it's your opponent is just now walking into the monsters that have crazy effects. Okay. This is a scare claw monster. I don't think I need to read this one. I just kind of care about the Kishra la la la. I guess I'll read them. Why not? Scare claw defang. Scare claw link monsters and this is star frost you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. <coughs> this card art's hilarious. Also, can that be destroyed by your opponent's? Oh, okay. Can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Banish in any monster your Scareclaw Link monster. Banish any monster your Scareclaw Link monster or Visa Starfrost destroys in battle instead of sending it to the graveyard. Meh. You can banish one Scareclaw Link monster in your graveyard, then target a card your opponent controls, destroy it. Um, that makes it better. <sighs> Whenever you have to have another card that protects it, like when it's like most good cards already have some sort of protection like it feels bad this just like it feels like it's just too late like if this archetype came out like a year ago i feel like it'd be better just the game just seems so fast you know so it's like if you even have this turn one you're setting yourself up for turn three to pop a card maybe right i guess you get protection so it's worth something and it does have like a cool effect I don't know. This is Triva Karma, normal trap. Target one Visa Star Frost you control, and one effect monster your opponent controls negate the opponent's monster effects. And if you do that, your monster gains attack equal to half the opponent's monster's original attack or defense. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one spell trap that mentions Visa Star Frost from your deck to your hand does this one no okay 
That would have been interesting, but it doesn't. <clears throat> that means that you're definitely playing ex er, not extra foolish burial goods. Is that what it is? The one that, um, oh, maybe it's just foolish burial goods. I think that's what it's called. The one, lets, the one that lets you foolish burial spells and traps. I don't know if there's other good ones. Well, I guess actually they're all good now, right? Although, do which one of these include the word Visa Star Frost? Any of them? Okay, let's keep going. No. I guess I could just command F this, couldn't I? But. Hmm. I guess it, it seems more like a scare claw thing. I was just curious. I didn't know if it would be in any of these. Which is fine, which is fine. The, the more important stuff, obviously, are like the most craziest cards, right? The one that searches the field spell. There's a card that searches everything, too. And then, then the extra deck monster is just Buku Bananas. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this support in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.